Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Advanced Distribution Management System presentation. My name is Hugo Castro. I oversee all projects globally for ETAP. Thank you for the opportunity of demonstrating ETAP ADMS today. In the next 20 minutes, we will be discussing the following topics. Primary objectives of an ADMS system, the products and solutions that ETA provides for the transmission and distribution industry, look at the components of the advanced transmission and distribution management solution, show you how modular and scalable ETAP is as an ADMS system, go through some examples of the visualization and data available through the ETAP ADMS, list and demonstrate some of the functionality of the module that compose the ADMS solution. And at the end, we will summarize with some key points of the presentation. I hope you enjoy the presentation. In this slide, I have listed some of the objectives that need to be accomplished by an ADMS solution. When I think of ADMS, I think of it as an assistant that allows operators, managers, dispatchers, and maintenance individuals to make better decisions about their respective responsibilities in the utility system. The ADMS must understand in detail the electrical network and its operation and limitations to support, for example, an operator to open a feeder or line. It needs to provide information on how that will impact the customers, the stability and power quality of the network. It must be able to proactively assess, predict, and the outcome of an automatic and manual operation before they happen. It needs to support the dispatchers to respond smarter and faster to improve customer service and maintain the satisfaction of the customers in the utility. It must also minimize the cost of operation by reducing technical losses, for example, as well as identifying non-technical losses in the system. It must provide all the necessary information to improve operator and system efficiency, have the data available at your fingertips. And nowadays, with the objective of decarbonization, distributed energy resources, and technology advancements in protection, the ADMS must use top-edge technology to manage all of the modern challenges at any utility. ETA provides a turnkey solution for using a digital twin to providing and integrating ADMS solution. The, AT, a, the ETAP solution starts from the design and analysis of the electrical grid, the applications necessary to perform simulation, design, analysis, optimization, and planning are included. Once the digital twin is completed, operation modules can be integrated for management, analysis, control, optimization, and automation of the live system. The solution can be completed uh, with the hardware equipment required to communicate and host the solution. System integration services from design, implementation, factory acceptance steps, site acceptance steps, and commissioning can be provided directly by ETAP or through our integrators distributed across the world. Now, there's a question here. Is that is ETAP the right partner for your ADMS project? This, this was a tricky question. The answer is absolutely yes. To implement an ADMS solution, you require a partner and not a vendor. The partner needs to work intimately with the utility operators, planners, and engineers to understand the objectives, availability, and business processes that may be existing in the utility. One of the objectives of the ADMS is to come and support and complement the existing processes. Uh, at the front end of the project, one must create a detailed functional spec, including the integration of the enterprise solution. It is important for a successful project implementation. ETA processes required to perform this step and as a critical item. The, the concept of the ETAP system uh, from back in 1986 till now has been to provide uh, the necessary tools to perform uh, modeling, uh, analysis, optimization, uh, generating geospatial diagrams of the electrical network. Uh, from generation of the model, we move into the analysis where we provide a complete set of analysis modules that range uh, that exceed uh, 100, over 100 modules available in the software for doing complete network analysis, uh, art flash and safety system, protection and coordination, dynamics and transient, renewable energy, equipment sizing, system grounding, power quality, transmission and distribution analysis. Then we take that same model and we move into the monitoring and prediction where we move into providing a SCADA, advanced monitoring, a state estimation, energy tracking, cloud and mobile solutions, operator training, and distribution and transmission management system. 
We also go into the operate where we, we have a supervisory control. We can use predicted simulation capabilities, uh, uh, reproduction of events or playback, switching management, load management, intelligence substation, and operational planning. Then we move to maintain maintenance and protection where we provide uh, the different uh, capabilities such as assessment of reliability, protection and asset management and other applications to support the maintenance of the project. Then we can also optimize uh, energy and power management, distribution management, intelligent load shedding, and so on. And then we go into the analytical intelligence where we use the real-time simulation for optimization, for switching work order management, for disaster planning, and so on. Um, we know that the systems continuously get up updated, so this cycle never ends, right? Uh, once uh, you have done your intelligent uh, analytical intelligence, you know, here comes the upgrades, right? New substation, new feeders. We start from the modeling stage again, go to the analysis and so on. So ETAP is there with you in the whole cycle of the uh, lifetime of your power system. The electrical system require, uh, depend, well, depending on the, on the type of system, the size of the utility, it might require different uh, modules. So ETAP is a modular solution that can be sized and customized to the, the system that is, uh, that is being implemented on. So we start from the uh, power system analysis, uh, where we actually provide power system modeling, steady state, protection coordination, dynamics and transients, optimal uh, uh, system analysis, GIS, distribution analysis. We go to the SCADA, we go to the PSMS, power system monitoring and simulation, to the advanced distribution, to outage management, EMS, and so on. Now, each of these uh, functions, or uh, we call them modules, each of these modules are, um, can be actually added or removed at any time, depending on the, on the need of the, uh, of the utility where we've been applied. The implementation of an ADMS solution requires the infrastructure to communicate to the field devices in the substations, field RTUs and all distributed energy resources. ETA provides uh, the virtual or physical RTUs, data concentrators, controllers, and more to communicate the ADMS solution uh, to the field devices with ease. In addition, if the infrastructure already exists, ETAP is an open platform that can communicate to the third-party equipment using a standard communication protocol. At the software level, the system can be hosted in, in premise, in physical machines or virtual machines, or as well as in the cloud. Visualization of the data availability is important. ETA provides a specific views that allows you to see the overall network through the network view. ETAP also provides substation, feeder, geographical, and personal, personalized SCADA views. The network view demonstrates the entire system. This view is auto-generated from the GIS reported model. The view shows the transmission, sub-transmission, substations, and uh, distribution uh, models in, uh, in, 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 the, in an overall view. Uh, notice that the distribution feeders are simplified, simplified um, so it shows the topology and switching devices. However, the substation views, the sub-transmission and transmission are detailed one-line diagrams. The real-time status of the uh, and state estimation results are displayed in the view. The network processor is always active, coloring, the system demonstrating what is energized, the energized alarm and voltage levels, uh, and other options such as coloring by feeder are also available. The substation view is a nested view accessible from the network view for every substation. This view is also automatically created from the GIS model. Same as the network view, the real-time status and stellar load estimation results are displayed in the view. The substation view includes all the components in the substation, including transformer, cables, protection devices, mirroring devices, and more. The network view and substation views can be duplicated so you can execute multiple calculations of, uh, simultaneously and link to scenarios for a single click execution of multiple analysis modes. The geographical view is generated through an input process from GIS systems or can be generated through the uh, ETAP editor. There are many functionalities such as tracing, find components that make it easy to navigate. The background a uh, map can be generated by importing shapefiles or using connections to Bing, Google, or StreamMap. The network includes the substations, 
the primary and secondary distribution uh, uh, distribution lines. So basically from substation to end user. Real time and steady load estimation results are displayed uh, with real time data. From the GIS view, uh, also the feeder view can be automatically generated. All the views are in sync. The results you see in the GIS view can be seen in the feeder view and one line diagrams as well. GitHub contains over 120 modules and applications from individual analysis of transformer lines and cables to overall system-wide analysis. The distribution and network management include the applications such as DERMs, planning, automated fault analysis, protection coordination, losses analysis, forecasting reliability, and a lot more. In the transmission side, the following applications stand out, but the system is not limited to this. It is important to know that the AGC system includes management of renewables, as well as conventional generation and energy storage. Also note that the fast load sharing module, which has been implemented in transmission networks using PMU data and balancing of, uh, is balancing generation and loading across countries in milliseconds, as soon as a contingency happens. Uh, keep in mind that the ILS is a proactive and not a responsive system, allowing fast response across vast distributed networks. Interoperability is one of the challenges that most ADMS systems have. The information that is centralized in the digital twin is diverse, from real-time data uh, to technical information to uh, enterprise management data, uh, such as uh, CRM, billing, IVRs, IVLs, and more, needs to be collected. We have prepared the ADMS system to overcome this challenge by providing a large library of communication protocols that allows us to communicate to third-party SCADAs or go directly to the field devices uh, using uh, IEC 61850, DMP3, uh, IEC 60870, ICCP, and many other protocols. Uh, in addition, uh, web services are available to co communicate to AMI and MDM systems an APS that allows us to connect to the um, enterprise software. The ETAP historian, for example, provides an API that can be utilized to extract energy consumption data to billing and reporting system. In addition, ADMS is expected to have a GIS database as the master source of data for the digital twin. ETAP provides several import uh, programs that allow you to bulk import the entire GIS database as well as incremental way. Automated import can be set up for typical data changes such as customer connections and disconnection. The following tools are available for easy integration of the ADMS solution. The SCADA integrator, which allows us to uh, set up the communications between devices and, and the ADMS system. The, there is a large uh, li list of library devices uh, included in the SCADA integrator. It also allows us to uh, perform system management and settings, including alarms and events. Uh, the user access management allows us to perform area responsibility definition, accessibility, accessibility and functionality uh, activation, and independent or active directory uh, uh, user integration. The SCADA designer uh, generates HMIs from digital twin model, automates signals to the SCADA views, personalized HMIs and dashboards. One design for a web and workstation views. It's all integrated. And the report builder, the report builder allows you to generalize uh, personalized templates, uh, use real time and historical data, and schedule uh, on demand reports. The SCADA functionality is not limited to this functionality. It's just these are functionalities that stand out, um, which include the SCADA operation views and, uh, and web views, which are personalized views, monitor and operate, allows you to monitor and operate on the system. It provides operator nodes, so if you want to inhibit controls while somebody is doing maintenance on the system, the operator can drop an operator node and actually automatically inhibit the controls while that maintenance is happening. It's integrated with uh, switching order management, outage management, distribution management system, and automatically uh, or manually uh, it can perform control inhibition. The alarm management, automatic notification, area of responsibility, alarm priorities, can be defined through the alarm management. The, uh, the system has a graphical, tabulated, and audible annunciation system. It ties to the DMS and OMS, so you can, you can bring or you can set up alarms 
based on distributed or analytical uh, solutions, as well as uh, getting information from OMS when, uh, for example, a call comes in, comes in or several calls come in and the location of the fault is, 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 is determined, an event can be uh, integrated and an alarm can be generated. Uh, also, there's a tabular dashboard, which allows us to automatically access all of the monitor data in the tabular form. Uh, monitor the communication alerts, uh, monitor the area of responsibility, and can be uh, custom uh, or it can be filtered. So you can, you can, be provide, uh, you can provide information based on device type, uh, alert type, uh, communication status, and, and more. Here's an example of uh, in, in a SCADA view. Uh, this was completely uh, generated from ETAP. It was exported from ETAP and generated here. Now here we can see properties of a transformer, for example, or individual components in the system. It also allows you to uh, generate even views such as, uh, for example, uh, panel layouts where you can actually go and look at devices and look at the real-time data directly coming from those devices. Uh, we can create the substation views. The substation views, again, they are imported from the ETAP model. So uh, you have a single um, source of information. Um, these views are automatically mapped actually based on the SCADA integrator uh, mapping. So you don't have to remap all of these views uh, manually. In the um, transmission side, we have the, uh, we have the automatic generation control. Uh, in the transmission uh, works as well as distribution with large penetration of distributed energy resources. It is important to know the management of generation sources. ETA provides the power plant controller that can communicate to the master DER controller that allows us to manage the entire generation system, including energy storage, hybrid plants, renewables, and conventional generation. Applications such as AGC, interchange, uh, scheduling, reserve management, economic dispatch are part of the master DER solution. In distribution, these are some of the applications that stand out, but it's not limited to uh, distribution and state estimation, where you can actually determine technical and non-technical losses. Uh, you have the uh, network processor that is uh, analyzing the topology, the color in the system based on energization, based on uh, voltage levels and so on. The volt bar optimization uh, provides conservation voltage reduction. It provides volt bar amp amp reactive uh, optimization. So maintain your voltage levels as, as necessary um, determining the dispatch of your uh, reactive power resources. Uh, the switching optimization uh, allows you to reduce system losses, improve voltage quality and feeder balancing through the uh, uh, optimization of the topologies uh, of the system. The switching order management integrates, integrated with OMS, SSM, uh, mobile workforce management, followed isolation and system restoration system. Uh, it also, um, uh, provides a switching and work order approval process, process to its workflow. Um, you can manage a schedule, a schedule outages from the SOM. This is also switching sequence management. The switching sequence management allows you to validate switching sequences, approve for executions for workflows, and then uh, execute uh, directly from a SCADA system. Here's an example of the operation of one of these modules. So we're going to go through the Volbar optimization. Um, a module. The Volvar optimization module, um, as you can see, as I started from, from ETAP, uh, we have a study case. In this study case, uh, we can define objectives, we sign the parameters of the load flow. We can select, for example, do conservation voltage reduction, minimize power losses, or optimize the voltage profile. You go through the system, you define which feeder, you define your control uh, components, uh, included inverters, capacitors, and transformers. Um, then you execute the calculation. You run, uh, you can run the BBO as a real-time mode or, or actually do an optimization snapshot. If you select to run it as a BBO, then the system is gonna be getting real-time data. As real-time data is changing in the network, the system will start performing the calculations and showing you what are the uh, optimal uh, results. Uh, here in ETAP, um, you can see that there are um, uh, there are tabular forms in the uh, below in the BBO that shows you the uh, the, the different controls and and, and and values uh, final values for example of the system. 
but you want to look at the uh, VBO over time. So we also provide dashboard where we actually can determine whether the system is advisory or supervisory mode. It goes through the, the different uh, calculations and it's continuously managing the system. Um, it actually tells you, for example, uh, which substations is, are being considered for VBO, uh, which capacitors, which transformers, all of that information it can be tracked here. There are also logs that are tracked for each of the events as the system is optimiz optimizing and sending controls out, we can actually track all of those values uh, in the uh, ETAP system. Um, so here, for example, we're looking at the transformer uh, load controls. You can see the values that are being uh, uh, validated and, uh, and optimized due to the BBO. But uh, we can also look at this in, in the form of, uh, of uh, uh, charts. We can, we can actually see the voltage levels. We can see reactive power flow, maximum voltage level, maximum power factor, fail controls, and so on. So we can get on live comparisons of the system with BBO, without BBO, what would be the minimum, what would be the maximum voltages that are being applied. All of that information is tracked and displayed in this, this dashboard. So we, with this, um, we can track the uh, performance of the BBO. We can set up the BBO system. We can look at the active power dispatches, reactive power dispatches, how the voltage uh, is, is actually improved. Um, you can determine and actually track your KPIs to determine if the BBO system is operating um, as, as it needs to be. There are other uh, additional modules or like ADMS like adaptive forecasting that allows you to do load and distributed energy resource forecasting. Uh, it has a graphical view and Excel reporting and it has a weather API so you can get the real time um, weather information and based on that, uh, the, uh, perform your load and, and distributed generation uh, forecasting. Also, there's a full uh, isolation and service restoration uh, module. This uh, module allows you to generate partial and full restoration steps, minimize network losses, minimize the number of overload elements, min, uh, maximize the average voltage. So in summary, uh, we have an integrated solution for utilities that can manage generation, transmission, and distribution. Also, um, you can have independent transmission, distribution solutions. It's really up to the customer how he wants to implement. Uh, it provides uh, multiple views for ease of visualization of the data and providing accessibility to that information. A scalable modular for all uh, utility tiers and interoperable with um, web services and API for data transfer across enterprise uh, software. Thank you all for your time. Contact us if you have further questions. Thank you very much.